Okay, for this assignment, we're going to go ahead and use Visual Studio 2019 community, and we're also going to connect to Azure DevOps, and specifically Team Foundation for source control in Visual Studio. Okay, we're going to have to actually use a Microsoft Live account. I actually have one, uh, my personal Live account. You also have one with the college account. You can use either. You can create a new one just for this course if you want. And we're going to go ahead and go to Team Explorer over here on the right hand side. I, I did, by the way, you will have to install Visual Studio 2019 Community. And you also have to go ahead and just create a project or open an existing project. It doesn't matter what the project is. You can just go File New Project and just go to the wizard and create any random project. If you currently don't have Team Explorer, displayed. You can go ahead and say you just have your project visible. Go to Team Explorer by going to View and select Team Explorer and then you'll pop up. Once you get here to this window what you're going to want to do is hit this little green arrow or I'm sorry, green plug and go ahead and go down and click Get Started for Free. Give me one second, I'll pull the screen over that popped up. Now you'll see from past history students have actually connected uh, to my Azure DevOps uh, their project and in doing so they then deleted it and it orphaned into my account and these can no longer be removed. So when you're done with this project, um, if you could do me a favor and actually disconnect or delete my account, that would be appreciated, and I will show you how to do that at the end of this video. Now, what I'm going to do so that you have something similar, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this account. And I'm going to sign in to my son's account. What we're going to do here is just create an empty project. Click Advanced. And we're going to change this from Git to Team Foundation Version Control. And then Create Project. You'll actually see if you go to repos, files, that currently you have no code or files in, in this particular uh, project. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and connect our Visual Studio to our Team Foundation project and then publish the or check in all our code that we currently have in our, our solution. Let's move this out of the way temporarily. Once again, go back to your Team Explorer and click Connect. And you'll actually see the projects from Azure DevOps. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and click Connect. I'm going to change the name here. University. This is actually a week two project that I created as just a test for another course. What we're going to do uh, for this example is we're going to actually have you use your name here for your project so that I can actually uh, see it, recognize it when I look on my Azure DevOps. Okay, go ahead and map and get. Once it's uh, successfully mapped, we can go and view our project.
my project and actually select source control explore and you'll actually see currently there's nothing set to check in so what we have to do is go over to solution explorer go to your solution or project right click add solution to source control in this case just ignore any of these types of problems they're not required for the project and then you should be able to view your um, Source Control Explorer and actually see that everything is set to be added to Team Foundation Source Control. Now again, all I've done is connected it to Source Control and said I want my project, Hamilton University, to be sent to Source Control. But if you look, I don't yet have any of these files added to this particular project. So what I'm going to have to do is check everything in. So you can right click, go to source control, and click check in. All right. Just give it a comment. and then click the check in button. Continue to check in the 63 items. Click yes. Give it a minute. Couldn't add the item. That's okay that it's not connected. Again, those are related to items that are not source controlled and not necessary for the project. Go back over here and refresh. And now you can actually see the entire project is in Team Foundation Source Control under Azure DevOps. Okay, now once you've got your code in Azure DevOps Cloud, go ahead and go to Overview for your project. Go to Invite. Go ahead and select me, Shane Hamilton at live.com. Specify which team you want to add me to. And then click Add. Once you've added me to your Azure DevOps, I will actually be able to see you as well as your project. Yeah. Make sure you delete me once you've completed this project and received your grade so that I don't end up having you know, a series of orphaned Azure DevOps projects that I can't get rid of. And I, literally, I, I cannot get rid of them. They will not delete. So if I try to delete, I can't. And there's actually backdoor ways also to get in and try to delete these. And there's a known problem. So there's no way for me to delete it regardless. Let me go back in and delete it so that I can actually clean up my Azure DevOps. I'll have to log in to my son's account. It's kind of a pain, so give me one second to log in. Okay, now that I'm logged back in as my son's account, couple things I wanted to talk about here. First, the project itself. Uh, the new default is the people you're adding to the project don't actually have permissions to use the project. So even though I am a member of your project, I can't actually, or you're, uh, you can actually see it, but I can't do anything with it. So what we want to do is first go to project settings. And then again, I'm going to show you how to delete the project from, or delete the members here from your project, as well as uh, give those members permissions to your project. So first thing, go to permissions, and you'll actually see that I am part of the team. And under readers, you'll see that there are no readers, so I have to actually give access.
Now, in order to delete the team membership or the members of the team, or in this case, project, click on Teams. And just go ahead and select my account and remove. Okay, that's all there is to it.